There were a few people asking questions and some of those questions were very, very concerning. People were asking, are you allowed to be intimate with your spouse during the fast? Now that is quite a strange question, but then again, there are people who probably are ignorant. Fasting from dawn to dusk means you abstain from food and drink, you abstain from foul language and so on. You also abstain from intimacy with your spouse during the daylight hours. Now, that which is haram and prohibited is obviously haram inside and outside of Ramadan. If someone was doing something haram and were to engage in haram during the fast, then that would be a double sin. One for it being haram uh, and two for it to be breaking the fast in that way. But another very, very important point is your own spouse as well. You cannot have intimacy with your spouse during the daylight hours of Ramadan. At night, it is permissible. The Quran expressly mentions the night and says that it is permissible. So it's not like you have to stay away from your spouse for the entire month. But my brothers and sisters, if someone does do that during the daylight hours of Ramadan, then it is a major sin. And in order to compensate for that, you would have to fast 60 consecutive fasts after Ramadan and seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is something that people don't like to discuss, but it, it needs to be discussed. Someone also asked in the live session, is it permissible to masturbate during the fast? Does it break the fast? The answer is it definitely breaks the fast and you would have to make that fast again sometime after Ramadan and seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, if it was haram and a person actually did something that was prohibited, uh, then it makes the matter even worse, which means if you have fornication during the, the fast, then it's worse because that is prohibited even if you're not fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. These are the days of Ramadan. They're supposed to impact upon you. You're supposed to develop your relationship with Allah. Take them seriously and engage in some form of extra act of worship, even if it is just dua. So a question arises, what is the best supplication I could make? The best supplication you could make is to seek for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek the forgiveness by saying, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive. So forgive me. If you made it to the end of the video, please like the video as a sadqa jariya so more and more people can watch it and you will get sawab for whoever watches it. We don't earn money from YouTube ads so you can support our channel from the link in the description so we can keep making new videos and you can subscribe to our channel. Jazakallah.